Fun fact, did you know that ASMR actually has videos where you can find people beating other people up? Or even yourself? Random fact, did you know that a whale's heart... That a whale has a heart. <laughs> so welcome to the video. I haven't told you much, mostly because I don't really know what's going on myself. I've, brought he I've been brought here and I I've been put in this suit that I, I don't know why I'm in this suit. It it's kind of fly, I'm not even gonna lie. It kind of looks kind of good. I may yet tell me if it looks good. Uh Besides the point, we are here to play a game. So the game we are reviewing today is a cold shot. That's not the name of the game. I was right? It in fact is called Cold Shot. I have never been right like this before. I am beaming with joy. But basically, you're a hitman. A cold shot hitman. And the mission is to kill this man in a house. I know. Story. What am I looking at right now? I have to end the job first. Oh. Ah, uh, yes, the sniper that I have conveniently placed in between these two bars. Shut up, airplane. So you start with this little sniper on this, uh, mountain thing. It's just there. You don't place it there. You're, you you kind of, like, just walk in front of you, and there's, like, this crack in between the fence with, like, this, like, 50 cal sniper just laying there. Because, why not? And you, you, you take aim, and honestly, for a little bit, I was skeptical on what to shoot because there wasn't really a clear target on what to shoot. Nothing was moving, and everything was black and white, or just black. So I kind of had a difficult time figuring out what I had to shoot because I only had one shot. Because, you know, if a hitman misses his shot, it's kind of like a death sentence or just not a payday. I don't know. I've never been a hitman before. This star. Wow, this is neat looking, actually. All right, I'm going to shoot this guy. Where is he? Oh, is he right there? I think I see him. Is that him? Wait, is that him? I don't want to like shoot something random and then regret it later. All right, you know what? Fine. This is not how distancing works, but you know what? Took him out like that. He's gone. He's out of existence. He's just, just see this? He, he was in existence. No longer. Also, the shot of the gun was very, very silent. I said, is this 50 cal sniper? It sounded like a Nerf gun with water inside of it. And that's also not how a gun sounds. I'm going to make sure with intense music in the background. All right, I love this. I love this. I, I love it. I, I really love it. The chains look rusty. Just. Oh, I, wow, okay, that worked. I swear to God, I've been doing everything in my gut instinct. I'm not a murderer on my life, I swear. This is a nice gym. The outside's gone. Oh, and this guy's doing 315? For bench? I think this guy's crazy. What do you do when you kill a guy? I don't know. After you pop him in the head, you know, with a 50 cal sniper, and you see him flop on the ground, I guess the next best thing to do is go surveil the area. Because he might not be dead. So now with our trusty pistol that we got randomly out of our ass, we now want to go surveil the area inside the house. And surprisingly enough, the house is completely unlocked. And the first thing you see when entering this house is that this guy's a beast. A straight up beast, by the way. He literally benches 315 pounds. That's insane. All right, buddy. I have a... F I have a gun. I have a gun. I've, I've got a big gun, you know? I got a really big gun. I, I don't like that. Something is under the flesh. I need a sharp object. I've got a gun. That's sharp. Sort of. That's, that's... Uh. Hey, buckaroonie! You got knives? No? You got a shower. I still have yet to find a knife in the kitchen. That seems wrong. So now you get the privilege of walking through this, I guess, rich guy's house and just like exploring at this point. And it, it's kind of like creepy because you know it's a horror game and you know something bad's gonna happen. And then you walk into the kitchen and there's a 
pig that's cut wide open, which has, by the way, nothing to do with the story whatsoever. It's literally just there. Like, I, li I finished the game and there was no point that there was a cut open pig there at all. Fine, we'll go upstairs. Oh, yeah, and there's an upstairs, by the way, because, you know, money. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Ah, there's a bathroom. Don't know what I picked. I picked up mags? This is a dark game. Uh, actually, I just realized that I was the one who made it dark. I think I killed him. Hell no. I am getting so many mags. Why? Is there a point to getting this many mags? I mean, if you're reading this, it means everything went right. I am scared. A few hours ago, I didn't know I would die soon. So soon. However, thinking about the reason makes my <laughs> makes my first moments happier than ever. I'm very nervous, but my life without you means nothing. Do this. Do doing this is the best decision I will ever make. Don't be sad. Daddy loves you. I will be with you forever. I killed a father. I see him pointing at me. He and so while you're going upstairs, realizing that like there is no reason for you to be in this house whatsoever to then walk upstairs into a room where, I guess there's a hot tub too, but you know, who cares? You probably have a, you probably have 10 hot tubs at home. You're a hitman. But you walk into this room and uh, lo and behold, the dude is dead. Actually, no, wait a minute. He's not dead. There's just blood on the floor. So I guess this was useful. This right here, this was useful. It was, I don't even know why. He just like pulled it out of his back cheek. So after realizing that you're basically being watched by this guy because this guy has the supervision of like God and he was watching you as you were basically lining his the shot to kill him and he didn't move out of the way, he decided to keep on typing until you popped a cap right in his nog, which didn't kill him. So I guess props to this guy for being unkillable. He knew? He knew. What is that noise? So after realizing this, you then hear these uh, sounds. And I, I can only, I can only, I can only, I can only define them as absolutely terrifying. It's stuck in my brain. It's stuck in my brain. And I'm not gonna lie to you, that noise was terrifying. At that point, I had no idea what I was supposed to do, except for go downstairs. Because I wanted to be on the ground to die. And then lo and behold, there's the guy. Look at he's just standing right there, nailing you inside the house. At that point, I had no tolerance for anything. I just kept on unloading caps into this guy until I could not see him alive. F off! Just one, two, three, four, five, six. Why'd you board up the house? You're supposed to be dead. Hell nah. Get me out of here. I don't want to be in here no more. I don't want to benching 315. I don't want to be in your house. What the fuck? What the hell? Why are you still alive? He cannot be killed by bullets. This man is God. And then little to realize, uh, I had no directions whatsoever, except for the fact that I had directions, and was told where to go, and just didn't realize what I was doing whatsoever, at all. So I died. Why are you here? Why? I can't do anything about you. Ow! What am I supposed to do? Ow! Stop whipping me with your belt! Ow! Are you for real? What sharp object? And as you would know, I respawned in the same spot I was before absolute hell. So knowing everything that was going to happen, I was determined to live. I was determined to live. I was determined to go through what I had already gone through. And I did it. I went downstairs. Boom, 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 boom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot you in the face. From the bathroom. Dead. He's gone. He's dead. It's time for me to go. I'm sprinting around the house. Oh, I figure out that I have to go to the bathroom. Do, 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 do. Bathroom. 
I'm in the bathroom, you can't stop me, you don't even know where I am, so I was in the bathroom, and lo and behold, what does he do next? He tries to burst down the door, completely. He just literally, like, hucks himself at the door. So as he does this and throws himself at the door, I don't remember if this is where I got a knife. This is where I got a knife. You fu- Ah, you- you're not dying! What am I supposed to look for? I could, couldn't I? You know, realizing this, the fact that this guy had the power to lift 315 pounds in a bench press, I realized how much, like, shit I was in. That I was going to die again. But I didn't. I stabbed that pig right in its guts, almost dying in the process, took a key which belonged to the upstairs room that I couldn't get into, and, uh, you know, it was another complicating thing, or... As we see in this game, puzzle that I had to deal with, which was pressing buttons. But I, I rushed to it, and I go grab the key from upstairs to go the one place that we remember, and that no one wants to go to in any horror game ever. The basement. The basement is the worst place to be ever, and in this game, it was hell. So as we go downstairs to open the basement door, this is what we see. Basement key, it's a basement key, it's a basement key, it's a basement key. Ah, you bi- Ah! Yeah, I mean, what the- Alright, buddy, you do you. Yeah! Hell nah! The f*** out of here! There's so many! There's so many! Babies. 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 They're not even ba- Dude, it's literally just black walking dog creatures that cry like infants and chase you and there's like 20 of them. It's crazy! And as we continue with this, it's just this roundabout like tag with 20 black goopy babies to try and live. What am I supposed to do about this? Run! And I had to escape the house. I don't remember how. I don't remember how. I never- I actually don't remember completely how. Except the fact that I do. So, basically, what we had to do was round about the house until the babies were all out of the basement, step on some of them, shoot some of them, it, stuff happens, honestly, stuff always happens, and get down to the basement, which, in my opinion, was the worst idea possible if this was a real situation. Because you are basically cornering yourself where the babies came from. It is their home, and you are not welcome. But as you know, this guy is a billionaire and has a whole sewage plant underneath his house. Oh my f***ing god. Something. I'm going, I'm leaving, oh my god. Jesus, God, Christ Almighty, those are babies. Oh, what the hell do you mean, run? So now you're outside, you're free. You are free from everything. You finally get to leave. Except the fact that there are 30 other of these zombie children waiting for you on the outside of the house. Because this game has no tolerance for people living at all. Literally, these babies are everywhere. Like, I'm surprised that, like, th they're not spewing from the pool ground. But as again, you have to basically dodge them and get back to your vehicle. So I did that. I got all the way to the vehicle, and what would you know? Ouch! 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 Go, you dummy! I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. You left your sniper in your backpack. You're being chased by demon children. If you want to get that sniper, you can get it in the morning. What do you think the babies are going to do? Take it? They want to take you. They want you. They don't want that gun. And as you do that, you grab both the backpack and the 50 cal. You throw it over your shoulders like it's two pound dumbbell weights that you just found on the kiddie pool side of the gym. And you book it to your vehicle. 
which in fact I had to walk over every baby and still didn't die but was having a heart attack the entire time doing it. <laughs> Go, damn it! You're on fair grounds! Leave! Oh my god, man! <laughs> I drew f I drove five seconds into the future and I'm dead now. It's I'm so tired. I don't even know where I am. I'm heading to. Uh, I don't even know. This job has been a complete mess. It's a miracle that I'm alive. Still, a question burns my mind. Did they deserve it? Didn't I? Didn't matter before. Why should it matter now? Oh my God! I just want to start from scratch to begin a new life. But I don't deserve it. Cold shot had nothing to do with cold. I would have been fine with dying. I, I would have I would have been fine. I really I was not a big fan of the 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 glob babies, you know. I probably missed so much. Was there anything I missed? I don't know. The ranting went on for a good what? Twenty four minutes? Perfect. Not perfect actually, that was really long. Oh shake, my computer just turned off!